2 minute EM approach to arterial blood gas interpretation. Arterial blood gases are a great point of care test to give us a rapid appreciation of a sick patient's physiological status. Number one, focus on the patient. In those first few moments of seeing an unwell patient in ED, look at them. Taking a history and a thorough A to E assessment tells you most of what you need to know. The blood gas is just an additional diagnostic aid and must be interpreted in the context of the patient. Number two, watch the oxygenation status. Remember, with the breathless patient, hypoxia kills fast, so check this first. Normal partial pressures of oxygen in the blood are between 10 to 14 kilopascals, so, so our patient here has a hypoxia. Number three, identify the primary problem. Is there an acid base disturbance? Remember, pH is inversely proportional to the concentration of hydrogen ions, so the two can be looked at interchangeably. Here we can see our patient has an acidemia. Number four, check the direction of disturbance. First look at the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Lungs regulate carbon dioxide through expulsion of CO2 during ventilation. CO2 is acidic as it forms carbonic acid in the body. In primary respiratory disorders, the pH moves in opposite directions to CO2. This patient has a respiratory acidosis. Now look at the bicarbonate. Kid kidneys regulate pH via retention and excretion of bicarbonate, which acts as an alkali to mop up hydrogen ions. Here it is moving contrary to pH, so must be trying to compensate. Remember, respiratory compensation is far quicker than metabolic compensation. Just think of the rapid deep breathing in severe metabolic acidosis of diabetic ketoacidosis. This was first recognized by German physician Adolf Kussmaul. Finally, bring it back to the patient. Our patient has a respiratory acidosis with partial metabolic compensation. They are hypoxic as well as hypercapnic, so of type 2 respiratory failure, which is likely acute on chronic given the bicarbonate rise. This patient is likely to be unwell. They could have a COPD exacerbation and may need to be considered for NIV, or they could have life-threatening asthma and may require intubation, or there may be other pathologies involved. Don't forget, partner, there's other golden nuggets on the printout, including electrolytes, which can help identify the cause of a metabolic acidosis through identifying the anion gap. This will be talked about in another video. Thanks for listening.